the Ministry of Secondary Education has developed a distance learning platform for students of secondary education in Cameroon. A series of lessons taught by qualified teachers for secondary school students. Under the stewardship of Professor Pauline Nalovalyonga, in collaboration with the Ministry of Posts and Telecommunications, CAMTEL, CRTV and UNESCO. We are introducing distance learning as another teaching and learning method which is different from the traditional classroom setting that you are all used to. In the distance education mode, you are not with the teacher in person, so take your time, relax, listen to the teacher, take down notes and visit the following links for any questions or answers to your questions. Take it in your stride. This is Cameroon's solution to COVID-19 and beyond. Professor Nalova Lyunga, Minister of Secondary Education. Welcome to this learning session of guidance and counseling for upper seats. Gale Sali Lutumbe is my name, Senior Guidance Counselor. So, last time, I left you with this homework. And we are going to start with the correction of the homework. And it goes like this. How does lack of time management affect students? That was the homework. And the answer is that, one, it increased stress level. If you don't have time, if you cannot manage your time well, you are going to be stressed up. And so we want to avoid that. And we also said that, you saw that it would decrease productivity if you don't manage your time well. Your, producti your production, your productivity, that is your schoolwork, is not going to be, it is not going to be, uh, uh, it's not going to go up, it's instead going to decrease. And we saw that disappointing performances are going to come because we cannot manage our time in school. Like for example, you know you're going to do your assignment and you're going to have problems. You're going to miss deadlines. Deadlines you cannot, if there's an examination and you don't know how to be there on time, you're going to miss that deadline it's going to be guilty for you. We also saw that it's going to bring a problematic relationship with your teachers. You see that, how will you feel if you, as an opposite student, you are sent out of the class? Because you don't do your own. When you have problems with your teachers because you are not able to meet deadlines. So we are encouraging overseas students to put time management in school as something important. You should put it, you should manage that time well. The second question that I left you as school more was how can we avoid procrastination? We know what procrastination is postponing work, postponing things to be done at later, at later time. You have to do your assignment, you want to postpone it. So we said that, that it is good for us to avoid that procrastination. And we said that for us to well succeed in life depends on how well we use our time. So to avoid this procrastination, we need to do the following. We need to have a proper study schedule. This proper, sheet, proper study schedule is going to take into consideration what we do when we get up, what we do when we go to school, what we do when we are free periods, what we do even when we are going back home. All those things are going to be taken into, into consideration. And then we also said that it was also good for us to get enough rest. We said that a well-rested body will do well than a body that is fatty, than a body that is tired. So we said that it's good for you, it's good for you to have enough rest so that you can be able to avoid procrastination. We also talk about self-confidence. If you if you if you if you put time management into proper place, you are not going to be demotivated, you are instead going to be motivated. You are going to be you feel at home, you feel that all what all you have to do is in line. So the third question was how 
we are still we are still on the same on the political party. We also say that if we avoid procrastination, it's going to lead to a situation where we are going to avoid distraction. What that distraction? So students spend the time watching television that they cannot do their their homework. They spend the time playing games which take their time. So we say that for you to avoid procrastination, you have to avoid distraction. This distraction can be taken, can be put or put under control if you are We are going now to start with the lesson for today. It has to do with managing extracurricular time. This is time which is spent out of school. You know, last time we discussed time spent in school. Today we are going to talk about time spent in school. The plan for our lesson is as follows. Expected competencies. We will have the previous knowledge. We have learning activities. We have application exercises. We are also going to have the homework. The plan of the, of the lesson today, we have the expected competencies previous knowledge, the real life situation, learning activities, application exercises, and we're going to have our homework. So for our expected competence, what the students, what are they expected to know? The students are going to help the students to succeed in much more than their academic endeavors. You know that when you involve yourself in these elective games or social things out of school, you are going to succeed more than, academic, than your academic endeavors. And then it's going to help students to link academic knowledge with practical know-how. You go to school to study. And then out of school also you have to have practical know-how. For example, how do you do with analytics? How do you do with homework, home activities, washing, like our student family? We are going to see all of that. I also have to, is here to help students to increase leadership and teamwork abilities. What are these teamwork and leadership abilities? So students have come up, they have done better in, in the races or, or games, and they have, it has led them to also do well in the administration as the case would be. Okay, we are going to talk about our previous knowledge. The previous knowledge that we are going to follow that is what we saw last time, the last lesson. We saw the, we saw the meaning of time management. We saw how we can organize, manage our time so that we can do better and increase our productivity. We also saw the skills for students, how they can, what skills are there for them to use so that their time management can, can be well achieved or what they can do to really go on. We also saw that the, we saw the importance of managing school time and what we see, what we see. We saw that when we are in class, we have to sit down, we have to be attentive, we have to take notes, we don't have to be distracted in class, we don't have to display. Even during the free period, we have to be attentive. We have to, to keep ourselves focused on that. We also saw the benefits of this time management. That if we manage our time, it's going to be to productivity. And that, despite the fact that we have this benefit of time management, if we don't manage it, it's going to lead to disabilities. And that was how we said we were going to be chaotic for the students who don't manage their time well. So, we are going now to our real life situation. This real life situation goes as follows. An opposite student. He comes from a whole family. Every morning before going to school, he has to do family. And then the one returning from school, he has to sell some of those products that he had harvested in order to make his needs. See our first student who goes to the farm, is from a whole background, and when he comes out from the farm with those products, he has to sell them so that he can make ends meet. And not only that, he's always tired and he sleeps in class and he cannot study well because of what he does. And consequently, he has poor grades and he 
the, what does he do? He decides to be the general counselor of the assistants. You see now, our upper system then goes now to see the upper, to see the general counselor for assistants. We are going now to our learning activities. These learning activities have to do with what? The definition of concept. We are going to define these things and then we are going to look at the activities that involve this out of school period. And then we are going to look at the importance of this extra school time activity. And we are going to see what benefits we are going to get from this school activity to manage them. So, what is this extra period time? It is time out of school. It is time out of school for studies, for home jobs and personal engagement. That is, we say it again that time out of school is for studies. Make your point. Time out of school, we are saying that is for studies, for house jobs and for personal activities for leisure. And we are also seeing that individuals who want to manage their time where they buy watches and keep it in their home so that they can be able to use this time properly for events, for day-to-day -day events, and for other activities so that they can be able to use this time and achieve good and reliable objectives. We talk about now about the definition again. This activity is what? This particular activity is an activity outside the normal academic routine. And we say that it is not part of school time. We saw school time and now we see that it is not it is not part of school time. And we say that it is structured around activity both and other purposes which we are going to see now. Time, what is time? Time is defined as duration in which all things happen. Or precise instance that something happened, time. Something precise has to happen at this time. Then what is this? You have to go and play, you have to wash dishes, or you have to go to the farm. Time. That is what we are calling time. And they say it waits for no one. Then there's a problem time now as you are sitting precisely. It is time that is not only for academic activities. Now, other things for leisure, it can also bring you relaxation and bring you form. So, some of these activities are there to reinforce, to, 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 they provide you a channel for reinforcing the lesson that you have learned in school. And then they give you the possibility that you can be able to adjust this to the real life context and also be part of well-rounded education. What does that mean? We need that students, when they involve in these activities, we make them to be balanced. We not only be there studying, studying, but we make them to study and also have other ideas to relax their head so that they are well-rounded for the society. This special program activity will help students also to develop their social skills and learn how to work as a team to achieve a shared goal. Students have to work as a team. This team work can be in football. As well. In the case of football, you work together as a team. From there, you can know whether you can tolerate one another. So it leads to you to achieve more better goals. Okay. Look at the diagram. Those are the activities, extracurricular activities. For example, we have annual year activities where prizes are given, students involved in dancing, students involved in playback, students involved in oral musical composition and singing. And then we see that their students are able to, to relax. They also join clubs. We have bilingual clubs, we have arts clubs. Those are extra local activities that help students to relax their mind. And also, we also saw, like in the case of our student, family is also an activity after our school time. And so, we say that to have a better school, we will have a better management of our extra curricular time, we need to elaborate a personal timetable. As students, in order to manage time well, 
it's important to build up a timetable for all your activities within the day. That is, when to get out of bed, what will be done for the day, when is it going to be done, and how long are you going to do it? So you need a timetable. And we see that it will be proper to take, to know what I'm going to take a longer time to clean the house or to wash this and go to school. So it's good to put a personal time so that all of these activities are done and you don't find yourself in problems for school. And we also see that some students, they can get up late in the night to wash the lecture programs and other leisure activities. Because they don't have five people that are not overnight. So we are encouraging all one of you to have the personal time to because if you don't have it, your time is going to be wasted. So, some of the factors that you have to consider before you make the time table is that you have to know yourself. Are you a fast learner or are you a slow learner? And you do your job fast, I don't know you do it slow. You have to know what is expected of you. That is, you have to put, put, put all those into consideration before you make the time table. And then you also have to know what subjects you have to struggle, what you have to do with. What, what are those activities that are difficult for you to do at home? So you have to make the attempt to be able to know which one to do first and which one to do second. And then you have to ask yourself again that at home, what are the jobs that I will do, as you have already said, during the holidays, during public holidays, or for example, some, some students involve themselves in games that they have to go out of the country. So you have to ask yourself, how are these activities going to help me out? When and what time are you going to be executed? And we're also to make a good story time to you have to have eating, healthy eating habits. You need to have balanced diet. You need to have, you need to eat foods waiting for you to be in balance. You make your mind to be well rested. So we have some common barriers to student time to students like to procrastinate and they postpone things that are not they postpone things to do them in the future like assignment. Students also lack focus. This focus set make them to serve two masters at a time. They try to accomplish many tasks at a time and then end up not doing anyone. So that is a barrier which we, are, we want to help students to avoid. We also talk about poor procrastination. They don't carry out the most important tasks at the proper time. So then they leave it to be done later. We also see that students have the lack time and same discipline. Why? They don't they lack the short use of their time. And because of that, it makes them go to be disciplined well. Because some students prefer to abandon their house duties in order to play games, and this is not good. So we are encouraging students to avoid that problem. How we can avoid the problem by having a proper study timetable. And then we see now the advantages of proper extracurricular time. The advantages will include what? It will include the fact that it will help you to work efficiently and make you to be competent. If you have your time, you will be able to do what you have to do at home and you don't have problems even with your parents. It will help you to reduce stress. And if you reduce stress, you will be able to have increased production. It will make you to be more productive at yourself. You will do well in school and you also do well at home and also your activities out of school. Like you have more time to, to relax when you involved in those games or leisure activities. You see that proper extracurricular time is going to help you to be more consistent what you are doing. You want to do it well and also at the right time. It's also going to boost your self-esteem. We have seen that self-esteem is that subjective evaluation of yourself. You know yourself. You know what you, are, you want to do. And so if you, if you put your time Manage it well, you are going to be able to, to feel fine, to be confident with what you are doing. And after saying that, giving the 
this, the advantages we have is advantages of poor extract of long time. What are those? What are those? We have the fact that you will hardly attain your goals if you don't plan your time well. You will not achieve your goal. And is it good? We say that no. So we have to do well to achieve our goals and on time. You always, if you don't plan your time well, you will always run out of time. Deadlines you will not be able to meet. You say there's a competition to take place, and if you are not prepared well, you will not be able to to attain it because your program is not arranged for your time is not managed well. And you see that you will not be able to accomplish your task. And you have seen those tasks, you have seen those activities, you have problem putting them together because your time is not arranged well. So now we are going now to our application exercises. We are getting it now. We want to ask ourselves the question, why does our overseas student have to go to the farm in the morning and sell the stuff? We already know that we send our student go to the farm and have to sell stuff. Why does he do that? Because he comes from a home family and it was necessary for him to make ends, make ends meet. So he had to go to the farm and then sell those products for his room to be able to, be, to have some of his, to meet, to make ends meet, to have some of his school requirements. And now the second question is why did he have poor grades? We already know why. The answer is that the physical exertion, what he does, it makes him tired. So he could neither stay awake in class nor study properly. So when he comes back, when he comes from, from formal, and because of the fact that he's tired, it makes him to sleep in class. So that is why he has poor grades. And what lesson can we draw from this story? The lesson that we are drawing from this story is that even though our student has to, to perform multi tasks, like going to the farm, doing other tasks in order to make any, he should have to do, he has to put things together. That is, he should be able to put, to make things balanced because he knows his situation. He has to know how to put priorities, what he will be done first and what he has to do second, or what he has to do next. That is, he has to priorities to know what to do because that is his own situation, he cannot change it. And then the next question is now what are the advantages for all this we are still answering? What are the advantages of that proper extra local time? What was the advantage? And we say that if you if you manage your time well, you are going to work well, you are going to be competent, you are going to be consistent, you are going to just be on the road. You are going to be you are going to just be on. They are going to be efficient. I will also say that it's going to reduce your stress. Your head is not going to be bumpy. You are not going to be, 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 be feeling sick. You are not going to be feeling weak when you are doing those activities. And we say that it will also make you to be more productive and you are going to perform better. It makes you to perform better at home. It's going to make you to perform better in your school and will also do well in these activities out of school. And we say that these activities out of school is important, but it should not interfere with your schoolwork. You know that you have to help in the house, you have to help your parents, but they should not interfere with your schoolwork. And we are also rightly saying that time waits for no one. And that as a student, it is important for you to understand the value of time. And for you to succeed in this academic and other pursuit of life, you need to put your time together. You need to know what you have to really do. You need to really know that if I don't put my time together, it is going to affect me. So you need now to continue to put more emphasis on what you are doing. So before we are going to go to this assignment, you know, each time we have to go, we have to leave an assignment. We are going to ask ourselves this this assignment have to do with is it a waste of time to involve in this extracurricular activity? We are seeing them, these activities that are out of home. Hmm? Is it a waste of time for you to involve them? That is what I want you to, to answer. And then I also want you to answer 
give me the, the advantages of this entrepreneurial tent. Give me the advantages as a property student. What are the advantages for you to involve in sport games, leisure? What are those? What are the advantages? I want to know those advantages because it's going to show that you are not only you are not only there to study, but you are there to to play, to relax, to have fun, to open your mind, to know that if you go to school and you don't play, it's going to make Jack to be a dull boy. We saw in that, so I want you to bring me this assignment where you are going to be coming. Okay, this work it was done with the help of what? The specification of Gaira counseling in Cameroon. It helped us to have good material for us to prepare this lesson. We also use the Gaira and Cancellor School Group in Cameroon. We also use the Minister guidelines. Those are the group. That is what helped us to come up with this lesson. And then also, after we have seen that homo, we are going to end by saying that the next lesson that we are going to, to discuss or next time when we are coming, we are going to look at the techniques of improving school performance. It's when we are encompassing. After we have talked about this time in school and time out of school, how are you now going to arrange yourself? Or what are these techniques that you need to know to improve your school performance? These techniques are going to be positive techniques. These positive techniques that are going to help you to be better. So as office students, we are going to discuss these techniques of how we are going to be able to, to perform better. We know that we are in an examination class. So these positive techniques are going to help us in which aspect. So next time when I come, we are going to discuss it. And so I'll be expecting to discuss this one with you again next time. Una tege si ma tege yop, una tege minga ma tege nyum, una tege ma jang ma tege ndom, ma ne tambia ninya ne injubia yen, ngani bana ma tege mot, ngani la kiri wa tege ndong, eso kina bia dinkido, ma ne tambia ninya ne injubia yen, tam tama mote tam zabike, Tam tam a tonge tam zabike tam 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 a mote tam zabike mane tam bia ninya ne injo bia yen.